Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we are going to finally make it to Diamond City. So without further ado, let's go ahead. And get started. We're gonna hang a right here and then we're gonna hang a left right over here. Pull out our pipe pistol. Let's turn on our lamp. We go right over this bridge. We're gonna be going on to the USS Riptide. A wreck of the USS Riptide. Who's there? We've got quite a few raiders over here. Along with one that is in power armor. So be very careful. Ones in power armor hurt quite a bit. Time's up, asshole. And they're obviously harder to kill because they're in power armor. Sorry, pup. You had to go. It's me or you. And I chose me. Take some rat away, and then we're gonna heal ourselves as well. Ain't scared yet. And then we're gonna loot these raiders, and then I am gonna come over here and turn off this damn radio. Grab this Wasteland Survival Guide. This is going to heal us 50% more from fruits and vegetables. Very niche. I'm sure it's useful to some people. Definitely not useful to me. can ring that bell if you want. I think it's pretty cool that they allow you to do that. Oh, I need to go over to dog meat. Come here, boy. Yo, pst. Add a ton of stuff that? on me. Got a legendary raider. That's a pretty decent one to have, to have where you just automatically use a stim pack when you're at low enough health. That's it. need to rest you can rest right there in that bed Let's go up to the top and we are going to be going to the backstreet apparel in just a moment before we do, we're going to go straight and help out some 
Diamond City security guards. Because they are fighting super mutants. And if we don't help them now, a lot of times they die. Super mutants! Here's some Diamond City firepower, you green uglies! Everyone's an asshole. Damn it. Worst time to be reloading. Top. Stop! Oh. Well, they're dead. Okay, we can hop down. Uh, <clears throat> damn. Not afraid of mutants, huh? You're our kind of guy. Hey there. Looking for Diamond City? Just follow the signs. Okay, so we're gonna go back down this way. Just to the north. That way nobody gets lost. I'll try to uh, call out the direction that we're going. And then we're gonna hang a right. I just, you don't have to help out the security guards. I just like to, again, for role playing purposes. Just gonna keep heading this way. We'll jump up here. Loot a little bit. And then right over here, we're gonna have some enemies. Take out the turret. There's one more turret right there. And now they are all. We're getting ready to go into Backstreet Apparel. First, we want to disarm that. And then we're going to go inside here. How's it going? What? You have any more stories like that? <laughs> they shouldn't take long. I'll keep them off you. I need some goddamn firefighters. <laughs> Just to give everybody a heads up as well. Because my sneak is high enough, I don't trigger traps. Got it. Grab that stealth boy. Keep Dog meat move, open. bud. I think this asshole's using a stealth boy. I'm not using a stealth boy, but I did just pick one up. <laughs> I got okay. Kill clutch. By the way, we did get a level, and I am going to put it in real quick before we finish up here. Mistake, 
let's go ahead and put the level into gunslinger and then i think the next one we're gonna put it into is gunslinger again i'm not sure be something i'll just have to figure out as i go disappearing act <laughs> huh yes No need to hide. It'll all be over soon. No Same sign of them now. No. I don't like about it. ready to Come pack on, it in. It's over. They must have run off. You can relax. I'll fucking relax when I'm ready to fucking relax. Got it? Ah, oh, Jesus. You always were a fucking hard ass. You're still alive, ain't ya? You should be thanking me instead of bitching all the time. Enough yapping already. Somebody could be sneaking up on us right now. Don't get your panties in a twist. I'm going. What the fuck was- You're mine now! Oh! Really careful. Got a few ra raiders over here. <laughs> Grab all of this stuff, including that cap stash that I picked up quite quickly and I apologize for that right here is the grognak the barbarian magazine or comic hell yeah now all you melee users are gonna um, be doing a lot of crit damage nice over here grab that stuff and then we're gonna hop over this railing hop again be careful falling down if you fall straight down you're gonna hurt yourself so just take it slowly now we're gonna backtrack just a little bit and go back to where the Diamond City security guards were that we helped out. We're going to be going over there. Come down here a short way, and then we're gonna hang a right, right here. We're gonna crouch because there's some super mutants and a dog in my way, as usual. There's some super mutants over there, so be careful. We'll come out and we'll kill them, and after we're done with the Finn's sewer, uh, when we're done with the Finn's Street sewer, holy fuck a moly! I need to learn to use my words. We're going to be listening to a Serial Killer's holotapes. Here we are, Detective. <laughs> if you followed my instructions, you're alone. And well, if you aren't, I've already... 
already left. You better be alone. Well, come on in. I've put my work on display down here, and I'd very much like you to see it. Gonna be fighting ghouls. So nothing to be scared of. By the way, before we get too far into the video, which we're pretty far into the video, but if you do not have a bloat fly gland or a Nuka Cola, be sure to get it now. Because in the next video, we're gonna need it. We're gonna need a Nuka Cola and we're gonna need a bloat fly gland. So just keep that in mind. Grab another hollow tape here. I want you to appreciate your surroundings, detective. I can only be myself in a place like this. Life up there is exhausting. Every day you smile at people who don't care about you one way or another because that is what you do. Down here, I really get to live. I'm happy to share it with you today, detective. couple of bloat flies over here just in case you still don't have a bloat fly gland you can get one well you're over here be careful let's take some radix there's a bunch of irradiated barrels over here We're gonna have quite a few ghouls over here, so get ready to fight. They shouldn't be too bad as long as you can keep your distance. Get him, dog meat. Really messed up stuff in here, man. <laughs> Go ahead and shoot now. That way you don't have to worry about it catching you on fire. Let's listen to the next hollow tape. I love to collect these skulls so that I can use them when I'm building up sanctuary. Grab that bowler hat. That's it. 
Got a couple more ghouls to kill. First one's gonna be crawling from underneath the stairs. Second one will be right over here. Third one. Yeah, get him, dog meat. Usually the third one over here comes first, then the one down the stairs. We got a glowing ghoul. Go ahead and take him out. Take yourself some Radix. Grab a Flamer. Some Rataway. Damn, that's rough. Uh, we'll just grab it. I don't know if I have it or not, but we'll grab it regardless. And we'll come over here and grab all this stuff. Grab the tumblers today. Nice. This essentially just makes lock picking easier. Let's listen to the last hollow tape. I didn't want to hurt you, detective. I didn't want to hurt you. But you, you hurt me first. Now I know you didn't mean those things you said. And I forgive you, detective. It doesn't matter anymore. Now you're here with me. <laughs> and we have all the time in the world to get to know each other. <laughs> nice. Now we're going to go up these stairs. Come along here. I have a feeling that's the detective and his wife, but I could be wrong. I don't know if he actually killed the detective or not. It's highly implied that he did, but I mean, just because you found that hollow tape. It was like, it wasn't even round a dead body, so there's no telling. There's a rad roach down there. No, don't drink the water. Oh, well, I'm not even going to bother trying to grab that. I don't want to keep drinking water, irradiated sewer water at that. We're going to hop down here. We're going to go to the right. And then we are going to get out of the Finn Street sewers. Over here are some super mutants. One is a suicide bomber, so be very, very careful. He's probably running up on us right there. ourselves a mini nuke there's one more super mutant to kill if you want to loot inside there you can I am NOT gonna loot 
because I'm pretty sure I'm getting close to being over encumbered. So I'm going to calm down on all the looting at the moment. Now we're going to come back. So when we came out, we were facing over there, killed the super mutants, turn right around to come back down this alleyway. We'll hang a right to go to Diamond City. And we're going to meet my favorite companion in the whole game. It's going to be Piper. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <sighs> you open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> You. You want into Diamond City, right? What? Who are you? Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. No need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. <sighs> this place, Diamond City. What is it? Oh, the Green Jewel? She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, got kicked out of here. A big wall, some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. Piper! Who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I... Didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, there is uh, one private citizen, Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down, usually for debts or whatnot. 
Now I have to get going. I'm sorry Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. Head on inside. Let's talk to Danny Sullivan. You're Sullivan, right? So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I wasn't lying. I got a whole supply train coming in tomorrow. Is that right? No bull? Well, if that's the case, let me put a down payment on some parts for the gate. Here you go. Anyway, welcome to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work. Now let's go find Piper. Kiddo, how are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <sighs> Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, mister? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone. And we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there. And they'll grab you, too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. I believe you. Thanks. You're a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. Let's go inside public occurrences. I think it's public is occurrence, Mayor right? McDonough telling occurrences? the truth? Yeah. What does he have to hide? Read the public for the hard questions. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller. <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look, dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Why is that important? I'm here now, aren't I? I told you, this is a perspective piece. People in Diamond City need to know you're from a different world than them. So, what was the vault like? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? 
Are you saying you were alive before the war? The war? Which war? The one that gave us this lovely landscape of demolished buildings and nuclear radiation every 10 feet? You're telling me you saw everything before they blasted it into pieces? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? The Institute? Who were they? That, Blue, is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths. Synthetic people. Sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. They make synthetic people? That's right. There are two major kinds you have to watch out for. The first is an obvious fake. Skin looks like plastic, skeleton might even be showing. You see groups of them scouring the Commonwealth, killing people and scavenging what's left. I reported on University Point a while back. <laughs> Whole town got cleaned out. The second type of synth is the real deal. With skin, blood, <laughs> warm smiles and guilty glances, just like a good old fashioned human. So do you think they could be involved? The Institute or one of their agents? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next. Piper. Heading my way? Sure, let's go. Will do. Oh, sorry, boy. Time for you to head home. Let's loot a little bit before we end the video. Big, loud, full of corrupt officials. Selling papers is busy citizens, work, mister. But it's home. All right, we're going to end the video right here. In front of Diamond City, I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.